Hello, hello. How's everybody doing this evening? So, we're back with Mega Man Knight on the bottom stage. The screen keeps doing this thing right here in the corner. Ugh. All right. So, big news. The subscription button update for affiliates has rolled out, which means I now have a subscription button. Never thought that was going to happen, in all honesty, when I started this hobby a couple years ago. I mean, I understand it's still just the affiliate level of having a subscription button. It's not the partner level. But, sorry, I'm trying to get some junk off my desk. I feel a little cluttered. And, uh, but I mean, I still have it now. So, I've decided to customize the crap out of it, you know, like you should anyway. And, uh, yeah, if you subscribe, you are joining the conspiracy. A group of ravens can be called a conspiracy, so that is what uh, that is what subs on this channel are going to be, is joining the conspiracy. There's just something fun about saying that, too. So, um, I may come up with some slightly varied names for the other levels, like the, the $10 and the $25 level. Um, but I have submitted custom emotes for all three levels. For the first level of emote, you know what, I'm going to pull them up real quick just to show them. For the first level of subscription, the uh, $4.99 or the free one you get with Amazon Prime. Um, image. I just want an image. Right now. The emote you will get with that. Dropbox. Where are you? There we go. Is Morris. You get this cool, hip-looking Morris as an emote. So, and then the, uh, the next level, we'll just swap this out here. The next level you get is the Robo Raven, which I haven't used this one very much. It's actually Morris's user icon. If anyone's ever followed Morris's profile through to his Twitch page. But, uh, but yeah, you get the Robo Raven for the $9.99 level of subscription. And then if you're super crazy, and some of you might be, I'll find it, there it is. You get this shiny gold Raven. I took the Raven from the Nevermore Studios logo and jazzed it up, so. Well, if, I, if my entire channel was Donkey Kong and Gorilla themed, then I would say that would be a possibility, Majinx, but it's not. I'm sorry. It's Raven themed. But, uh, but yeah, that's the, the 20... No, no, this way. That, that is the $24.99 level of subscription icon that you get, which I think is pretty cool. We're just going to delete that now. Woo! So, Mega Man X4 tonight. We are slowly making our way through... <laughs> The Mega Man X Collection. Thank you for the setup. <laughs> I think I did that pretty well. And, uh... Yeah, so we're gonna play that. Um, once we get to the character select screen, if there's more people watching, we'll take a vote. If not, it'll be the whoever I see in the chat first. And we'll play as that character. And, uh... Then we'll make another pass with the other character. I'm going to play through both stories because there are aspects of both stories that are just worth doing. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow we're going to play ukulele. Friday we're going to be returning to Zelda Breath of the Wild for the DLC, which I'm super excited about. And then Saturday we'll hopefully... I say hopefully be more Mario Kart. It's just it's kind of always up in the air depending on how my wife feels and she's got to work that morning and whether or not I can pull up interest for it. But uh But yeah. That is that is that. Hey honey. Ha. Huh? You didn't you didn't pop in soon enough to see my icons. I I made icons for the various subscription levels. They're not approved by Twitch yet. You still got to wait for that. But um I'm just going to go through that again, because I can. So, you get Morris, if you just subscribe, basically. And you get 
the Raven Bot, if you subscribe at the $10 level. They actually do kind of look cool all next to each other like that. And finally, mm, excuse me, you get the Gold Raven symbol if you do the $24.99. So, these are the subscription level emotes that you get. She hadn't seen them yet because I just came up with them. But, uh, let me delete these now. Not mention that enough. But, uh, but yeah, so as usual, since my wife has to work and it depends on who I can get interest, uh, Mario Kart is up in the air. Just keep an eye on Twitter. Monday and Tuesday will be Crash. The Insane Trilogy comes out on Friday. My wife will be trying to play it this weekend. I will be playing it on Monday and Tuesday for the Retrocade Plus. And then next Wednesday, we'll either finish Mega Man X4, because I'm not sure we'll... Well, yeah, next Wednesday will still be Mega Man X4, because I plan on two playthroughs. Plus, uh... This one's a little longer than, I, than the others. Um, yeah, and then... Next Thursday, Friday, we'll continue the Zelda DLC until we feel like we're we're well and done with it, and then we'll go back to ukulele when that's over. Okay, so we'll make plans for that. Uh, just uh, check out my wife's channel at White Rabbit 87 if you want to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna get her set up to stream directly from the console, so it's super easy for her. Yeah, turn on my fan because it's starting to get warm in here. But, uh, but yeah, so that's the schedule. That's a quick description of the sub button stuff. So if you're interested in subscribing, you are joining the Conspiracy of Ravens. So join the Conspiracy. Consider a subscription. That's, the, that, that's my, my plug. I'm done. Um, also, first subscriber has already been determined. Steve Delafield, my best friend and uh, mod here, has taken the first subscription with his uh, free Amazon Prime subscription. So thank you, Steve. You're the man. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, still waiting on the next wave of board game parts, but they should be here by the end of the week, so just keep an eye on that. I will update Twitter as I take pictures and do things. And as always, if you feel like donating, you can expedite the process for me to get the last figures in the set. If not, it'll just take me a little longer. So, we will deal with that as it may, and I think I've talked on enough. Let's play the game! Turn the controller on and I can press the start button. Maybe. Aha! Alright. So quick options. Okay, booster, jump, dash, giga attack, weapon select. Yeah. All right. So who should I play as? First name I see in the chat. <laughs> hey, Metalhead. I can't play as Cutman. That's not an option. Not an option, no. Pro. Legitimately, guys, come on. That's fine, honey. Zero? Okay. I guess I'm playing a zero, because the wife wife has, has not joked around. You crazies. Dem some quality anime cutscenes. Who 
No! Yeah, so anyone that may not have seen or heard that, that was Wily. How you doing? Maverick, Mavericks emerged at the point five five six seven. They've occupied Sky Lagoon. This looks like Repliforce is doing. Repliforce? Okay, I'm on my way. Specifically the cutscenes? Not really. I do have a fan going tonight, but it's not very high. I mean, it's fairly normal for my fan. Might be something to do with traffic. See that guy again later. All right, Dragoon, you're in the 14th unit. Why? Because the 13th unit sucked. Oh, this doesn't look good, Zero. That Maverick took out the power. What? And then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. Yes, and it'll be a ground lagoon. And destroy the entire city. Uh, yeah. The only upgrade Zero can possibly get is his black armor, and that's his cheat code for a cosmetic change. Um... Technically, yes, honey, but I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know how good the computers are at your place, and I don't think they'll work very well. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it. The carnage. It's horrible. Those Mavericks will pay for this! Get for the biscuit. <laughs> Don't get my wife in trouble at work. That's a bad idea. What are you doing here? Character we've never met before? And already know? Are you okay? Zero, did you come to save me? Yes, hang on. A huge maverick appeared and- Stay here, Iris. I'll handle it. What retro type games do I have? I don't have that kind of time. <laughs>
Get back here, you! Take that! I mean, in Steam, I've got the entire Sega Genesis collection that they offer. Which, at some point, I do want to go through on here. <clears throat> yeah, I've got over 400 altogether. <laughs> Aw, honey, thank you for the tweet. That was very nice of you. Yep. And the Mega Man Network retweeted me. Thank you, guys. Comic Zone is hard as hell. We're not Mavericks, but we're going to act Maverick because we don't want you to think we're Maverick. But wait, there, there's there's so many easier ways to handle this. Heck yeah, I'm gonna save. I don't know where anything is in this game, by the way. Let me see if I can help with this. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Reploids. We have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride, without fear, for we are the Reprobates. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! Sing yay! <laughs> the General has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? <laughs> so yeah, let me know if that helped with the cutscene volume any. I'm going to... I'm going to put volume there. Okay. My brother Colonel started a coup! Yeah. Also, his name is the same as his rank. Love you too, honey. Oh, come on. Seriously? Why the loud trucks? Okay, that... Yeah, Web Spider's actually who I start with. I'm starting to remember the boss order here. Kind of. I remember like the first couple. <laughs> have to make a hard decision. Any way I could help? Depending on what it is. Web, he protects the secret weapon of the jungle spider. Ready. 
Ooh. Oh, that is rough. Um. I mean, I want to tell you to to uh not sell the switch, but at the same time, I know that's not a good idea. Um. I mean, honestly, you need your car. So, that's what I think, but, I mean, you find a way to make it work, great. Best of luck to you regardless. Oh. Well, I mean, if there's a vehicle that you can use... And it works for you. I'd say wait to the paycheck then. I mean, that's a factor I was not aware of. That changes everything. Oof. There's so many factors to this. Ubering 22 miles. I'm sure that's not cheap. Thirty bucks. Yeah. For a uh, single day of travel, that's not cheap. Oh man, if you could figure out how to make it work without hurting yourself too bad with the wallet, I'd say try to hold out for the paycheck. But only and only if. Waiting for the vehicle is the only issue. Like if it if it comes down to other things like you need food, that that that's a little different. I don't know. I mean ultimately it's it's your decision, but I wish you the best. Fine on food? Okay. I don't know. I mean, if you think you can do it, I'd hold out. I feel like I need a legal disclaimer. I take no responsibility for... Uh, but no, I, yeah. That's... Regardless, I do hope you the, wish you the best. That's that's not fun. Kenna and I are down to one car right now because hers decided to finally crap out on us. Car has been just a mess ever since we got it. And uh We can't get approved for financing right now without a good cosigner. And we don't really have the ability to get said good cosigner yet. So basically, we're waiting till tax season to replace our car, but thankfully we still have one good car. It just makes things a little difficult, because right now she's working afternoon shift, so I have to borrow my dad's car in order for us to not have scheduling conflicts. I mean, my dad's got like four cars, so he's not hurting either. Yeah, that is a good deal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add a uh, 
timer command for the the sub button just to remind people to join the conspiracy. I just love saying that. Ah, Zero, I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Repliforce? Yes. I lead a renegade unit now. There's still time. Call off the coup. No, I know where my loyalties lie. Yeah, there should be a sub button. Affiliates get a sub button now. Yep. There's uh, some limited options based on uh, the fact that it's affiliate and not partner. But affiliates get a sub button now. And the cool thing is, I've already got one. <laughs> Good old Steve decided to sub with his free Amazon Prime sub. Thank you for the sub! Let's see if Twitch Alerts gets that, because I set something up for that. Ankbot got it, and I saw it. Really, Twitch Alerts? You're not going to tell me this? Ankbot got the info. And Twitch Alerts got the info, they just didn't pop the notification. I just hit repeat to see if it would let me... There it is! Again, thank you for the sub, sir. Really appreciate that. Now, I don't know how that pays out, but every ounce of it's going back into the stream to help with equipment and game costs and stuff like that. So, I'll keep you guys posted, because I want... I want subscribers to have a transparent relationship with uh, where their money goes. So, <laughs> I haven't used my free sub either, but mine's on the uh, mine's on the Office Prime account. Cause my office is freaking awesome. My boss is like, "Yeah, you're the only one who streams in this office, so just use the Twitch part of it." Ugh. Hate you. No. It's always the second part. It's always the second part. I know I can beat him. Depending on how the uh, the subs pay out, I may use them for various online subscriptions or uh, like the various game streaming subscriptions that PlayStation and Xbox offer, so I could have those libraries ac accessible. I don't know. I may be jumping the gun a bit because I only have two subs right now. <laughs> Again, thank you, Metalhead and Steve. If you're out there, thank you. But uh, once they get approved, you'll get a uh, Never Morris emote to use. 
and uh, yeah, just waiting for approval on the uh, the emotes I put together. I gotta make this moderately consistent. I should have said welcome to the conspiracy. Only get like half of it. That's more than I was expecting. In all honesty, that is a lot more than I was expecting. Don't get caught in the webs! Okay. All right. Serious face. What? Well, I mean, you think about it, I put out streaming content daily. I mean, I stream officially every day except Sunday, and then I have my casual stream on, like, Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons. I put out content <laughs> daily. And there are some big streamers that don't even do that. So it'll just be one of those matter of time things. No. Yep, X4 has already proven to be a problem. And I knew it was going to. I knew this was going to be a thing. Everything is so much easier with X, which is really terrible, but Zero is just basically hard mode. trying to think if there is someone easier for Zero to enter into the chain with. Because I can't think of anybody. Come on! Oh, I remember my jinx. If she doesn't get a chance to pop back in, I will probably remind her when she gets home. It's like, hey, guess how long it took me to beat Web Spider with zero? Paraphrase Tim Hawkins. I love my little helper in the game. If you don't know who Tim Hawkins is... 
He is a Christian comedian, but he's not a heavy-handed Christian comedian. He's hilarious. Um, if you look up Tim Hawkins' Helper in the Car, you'll get the reference that I just did. Which really, that kind of applies to uh, how Ken and I drive together, too. <laughs> I sure love my helper in the car. She tells me when I'm doing something wrong. Like all the worst parts of Boss Spider. I got him! Um, well, I get paid on the 5th and the sale goes till the 11th. Uh, Kenna and I have already decided we're getting Shadow of Mordor. Because, four bucks for the Game of the Year edition. Yes, please! And I may try and grab Ratchet and Clank while I'm in there, too, because that is the best price I've found with it. Special move button on the ground. Lightning attack. Effective against distant enemies. Alrighty. I know the weakness. Split, he occupies the laboratory and will attack whoever visits their mushroom! But, uh... With this upcoming check, I am not buying a wave of Mega Man board game parts officially. I'm not getting anything that's directly from Jasco, anyway. Um, I put in a custom order for some uh, laser-carved dice that are compatible with the Mega Man board game. And I created the AI files of the dice faces myself. And they look fantastic. So they're going to be solid blue dice. It's going to be laser cut into a white design. So it'll be two it, it'll just be a uh, essentially a black and white effect, which was kind of tough to do with Dr. Wily's sprite face cuz to properly portray Wily's facial hair, you kind of need three colors. But, uh... But yeah, I'll be ordering a set of custom laser-cut dice for the game so that I have some longevity, because my dice are already starting to fade. And that is the problem with heat-printed dice, is that when heat of hands is involved, things tend to fade. I mean, you do get a nicer result, and they do last a little longer than whatever the other method is that... I think it's just like a... Basically, it's stickers. But yeah, these laser-cut ones that I've ordered should end up really nice. I'm going to be paying for those on, on payday. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Seriously, like Cochise was saying when he was playing this, we need a yeah counter for zero. Bring it, bug. And Metalhead just sent me the Steam version of Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> you are crazy.
But thank you. I'll accept that momentarily after this fight. Whew. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and just all sorts of good things happening today. Two subscriptions, a gift from Metalhead. Have I ever mentioned how you guys are the best? Not, I really need to do that more. <laughs> I don't have to. True. As much as I hate to say it, though, with my computer situation, it's so much easier to stream on the PS4. <laughs> But that's okay. Crap, I missed it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Woo. Oh, don't worry about it, Metalhead. I appreciate your gift nonetheless. Granted, you've provided over half the technology I use for this stream. Video card and power supply in my computer. <laughs> it is the thought that counts. And frankly, who knows? Maybe it'll run well on here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. When did that happen? We're gonna see if I suffer from the same sickness the coaches did with uh, when Zero says it's not over yet, it's a guaranteed death. I live! Now, one thing that I wanted coaches to do when he was doing this. But he never did, and I'm not sure if it works. Because we're going to try and take the clones out with the electric sword. Yes! So much easier. <laughs> It's always my processor holding me back. It really is. But, you know, hopefully with these subs I'll be able to solve that problem in the future. Because the video card handles everything beautifully. The problem I have is that when I stream a Steam game at the same time... Yeah, when I stream a Steam game, my video card is not only trying to manage the game, but it's trying to manage the stream. And eventually the card gives up. Like, my screen will turn a solid color. It's varied from white to beige to black and come back and then the stream will be dead it'll still be trying to run but the stream will be dead and the game will be frozen 
It happened back with Bioshock. It happened with uh, Borderlands. Kuenbu. So, once I can get a better computer with a better processor, then I can put some of that onto the processor itself, stream-wise, so that the video card can focus on running the game. While attacking in the air. But yeah, I think it's because of the processor not handling enough of the stream, so the video card tries to make it up. That's just what I think. I mean, it's a theory. Regardless, I still need a better processor because I have an Elgato HD 60S sitting in my cabinet being unused because my processor's not good enough. With that, I wouldn't have to do all the stupid delay stuff I do for console streaming. Like, the PS3 right now is on a 400 millisecond delay. I didn't set that. That's just how long it takes for the capture to get from the USB 2.0 card to my computer. So I have my mic and my webcam delayed to 400 milliseconds. I mean, it's it, it's probably off by a few here and there. But I have gone through X extensive testing Crap. to determine the best possible way yeah, I'm trying to hurry stop how'd I do hey damn well maybe it is a driver issue I don't know regardless I don't think a better processor will hurt Got the heart tank. I think the another S. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe it is the card then. No, I thought a, a single attack would get you. With the subscriptions and the fact that I will be earning something now. We'll see if I can eventually get something better and determine whether or not that's the issue. supposed to hit that button yeah I'm not doing anything crazy with it either We'll just see. But if it did that to you too, that's a little comforting? Kinda, sorta, not really. <laughs> Alright. Cyber Peacock. I bet you're just a chicken in real life. Everybody makes themselves look better on the internet.
Huh. Oh, for certain it would have been his weakness. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm doing it right. To look it up. Okay, I see that it gives me a double jump. See if I did something wrong here. Jet Stingray should have been next. Well, I got the heart tank here nonetheless, so let's give this another shot. I got the order right if I was going through with the X. I forget the order is slightly different with zero. Now that I remember how your craziness works, I might just survive this. You don't do the bird missile thing. I should be. Eh, you're doing the bird missile thing. Got this. Stop doing the bird missile thing. Woo! Beat a boss out of order. Beat a boss out of order. Anyway. Okay. So that takes care of that. Rakuhoha! Bless you! Giga attack! 
Got the giga attack, a giga attack. Woo! Okay, so let's go fight the person I was supposed to fight then. Jet Stingray! He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. This stage is gonna suck. I just missed the heart tank. I'm also forgetting one of the key methods of surviving this stage. That wasn't it. Honestly, this stage just plain old sucks. Oh, did it again. I jumped over it! What is wrong with me? Ah, oh, This stage... There! Was that so hard? No. Shouldn't have been anyway. Whew, there we go. Take that, Jet. Seriously, an excellent way to take care of him. I missed it! No! It was an E-Tank! to replay the stage there's no way to kill yourself here and there's no restart <laughs> so that sucked That's why he's weak to Quinn Boo. You have to double jump to get to him. You and your knee rays. I really should know this pattern by now.
Holy crap. Okay, I can handle this. Whew! My thumb hurts! Oh, gosh. Thankfully, I only have to do that once. Hien Kiaku. Neat. Okay, so Hien Kiaku is nothing more than an air dash? From what I can see, got a message from Ripple Force. Zero, I'll be at Memorial Hall. Be there or be square. Don't go, Zero. Don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. There's no avoiding this. I must go. My hair is fabulous. budget for this voiceover work must have been five bucks and a sandwich. I've done better voiceover work and I'm terrible. Don't you remember what it's like to not be a dick? If it makes you guys feel any better, I can barely hear the cutscenes. Oh, I hate cracking bones, but gosh, my neck needed that. Do you want to save so you'll never have to watch that cutscene again? Abso stinking lootly. Okay. Slash Beast. You know, back when I was trying to teach myself Game Maker, I actually attempted to make a uh, Endless Runner starring Slash Beast. So it says that Slash Beast doesn't like Kuenbu. I don't like lasers to the face. I think they're just saying Kuenbu because it's the best attack I've got right now. Come on, I'm using it on everything. He slices, he dices, he julienne fries! Dude, you are the clumsiest friggin' thing. I like the little soldier mats, though. That's convenient. The air dash doesn't feel like it does much of anything, honestly. 
Not as much as the uh, like quick ground dash jump. supposed to do here but I got it now failed but I got it come on Not doing too good. I am severely rusty with this game, and it shows. Oh, they have a little jump. They're so cute. I almost feel bad for destroying them. Notice I said almost. Rusty is an understatement. Dun, dun, dun. You steal your tongue, sir. Okay, so. Jump off of there, Zero? No, we're just gonna go to a transition. Okay. I'm okay with this. Because transition means full health. That's probably why this game's seen as easy. Because health refills between loading screens. Either there was a Met standing underneath that guy in the mech, or he became a Met when I blew him up. I think it was the first one. Zero in a mech suit. destroy the blue boxes I want to see if there's a thing nope okay I feel like that was worth checking The fact that there wasn't anything is moderately disappointing, though. Woo! Heart container!
Good night. Can we stop accidentally respawning the big guys, please? That would be great. I can kind of see why it couldn't press onward. Oh, come on. Thank you. I didn't think so. Are we there yet? Yep. Alright, Kuenbu is his weakness, which probably just means that's the only thing I can really use. You dared to attack my unit? I'm gonna enjoy fighting you. Hey now! No need to be all growly. Zero basically means fight bosses without weakness. I'm so glad they improved on this in X5. He's supposed to be a beast. Stop that! I guess, lion? You growl a lot to try and give me a chance? Ah! Sucks. I would say Wildebeest is accurate. Wait, no. Wildebeest is like a... It's like those yak-like things from uh, Lion King. So no, not Wildebeest. I guess Lion... What you would consider a... A general beast? No! Really? Just, just really?
No, sir, I don't like it. Okay. Ha, <laughs> Blizzard Buffalo. Poor guy. Actually, there is stuff up here, isn't there? I don't know why, but the, uh, the music here has a very... Donkey Kong Country vibe. That could have been dumb and dangerous. It's the best kind of dumb and dangerous. No, 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 no. Entirely sure what I just picked up, or whether or not it was good. Whoa! I know what that is. Really. A silly stage. Oh, it's not over yet. Chill, Penguin! Uh, yeah, he was at the very beginning of the stage. He's the first thing you see when you arrive. Trying to remember something secretive? I think. Yep. W tank. Don't know why I did that. Did a weapon energy, or did a life energy thing just refill weapon energy? I am so confused.
I don't know. Let's go fight Frost Walrus and hope things get better for me. You're so big! What's that man came up to? Nah, I don't want to do a voice. Actually, yeah, he takes a pretty decent amount of damage. Okay. I'm starting with him next time. Jeez. Seriously. Hey, baby! You chose zero at the beginning. Guess what? It freaking sucks. <laughs> also, Metalhead subscribed while you were gone. You're right, Susan. You're right, Susan! Town special while jumping. Okay. Draco. I do have a water bottle cap. Get out of the window. Metalhead also subscribed. And he sent me a Steam copy of uh, Shadow of Mordor. So basically Metalhead's crazy and awesome at the same time. Some might say crazy awesome. It's like waiting for ducks to pass by. And then you step on one of the ducks and it hurts you because it lights you on fire. It's a fire duck. Okay. Yeah, and that's all it's going to be for the PS4 version as well. I do have plans on streaming it, so I may still do the PS4 version. Because, I mean, four bucks. No, it's not over yet. Get me out of here! That's a thing that happens. Whoops. Puppy. Basically. Basically, I want to get through here as quickly as possible. Just like that, actually. Heart tank. Golly, I hate those things.
Let's say if I can do this right, I can start the boss fight with the mech. <laughs> Why did you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon! I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon! Hadouken! Sure I can what? What can I do, Dragoon? That freaking sucked. Not to do it the normal way. That seriously doesn't work on him? It's freaking ice. That's what happens, DP. Also welcome. Okay. Seriously, I'm kind of upset that, uh... Kind of upset that the ice move doesn't work on him. Crap! I don't have his weakness. Actually, that was his weakness, was the electric thing. Looking at it. Yeah. <sighs> Playing a zero sucks in this specific game. slash beast that I have to do next and I can't go hunting down heart tanks because the ones that I'm missing I need magma dragoons so we'll do the train again Since I plan on doing an X run, we're not going to be moving on from this game until we get that done. Nope. We got the heart tank here, though. And actually... I don't really know what the W tank does for zero. Am 
Might just help refill the uh, Giga attack. But you know, the Giga attack doesn't help me much anyway. Anyhow. God, I can't even talk either. Anyhow. Much better. Much better. Oh, I know what that tank in uh, Frost Walrus' uh, thing did. It increased my max number of lives from a game over. Instead of starting with three lives, I start with five. As represented by a four because zero counts. Not zero the character, zero the number. The only thing zero the character counts is how many bodies he's killed. Maybe not. The guy can dream, can't he? Yeah, and Slash Beast is who I'm going up against. I mean, that... The, uh... Um... Raijin Geki, or Thunder God, whatever you want to say. Um... It works decently, but I have to be standing still to use it, which... I mean, damage-wise, it's okay, but it's really difficult to use against Dragoon, because he's always jumping around like a rabbit on steroids. Yeah, that one tank we got was uh, the extra life tank. Plus we got the W tank, which isn't much of an improvement for Zero right now. So that's the attack I hate. Stay. That freaking attack. Ugh. All right, I got this. That's it, just be pissy for a while. I never just hang on the wall like I should. There, just like that.
Yeah, that. Freaking hate that. Oh my gosh. Yes! Got him. Got him! Now I can use whatever he gives me against Magnum and Dragoon. Hopefully more effectively. Shibuga! That's on time. Bomberman R update with new characters and stuff is out. I can get some more Switch stuff back in rotation. Well, I mean, Zelda's starting on Friday, so... We did already get the heart tank here, though, so, I mean, that's a plus. Just gotta deal with the friggin' fireballs again. Magma Dragoon is an Akuma wannabe with those beads around his neck. Alright, let's see what this attack does, shall we? Okay. And it also kind of puts a stop to me. Ha! Take that. I really think that if I keep having trouble with Dragoon, I'll go back to Jet Stingray stage and get that E tank we missed. I say we, I missed. No! Why does my face want to intercept so many fireballs? Because I'm being reckless, that's why. I mean, at least I had a continue point amidst that, kind of. There we go. <laughs> it's all your fault, DP, somehow. You and Majinx planned for me to suck this bad all along. Crap. There we go. That works pretty nicely. Max suit. But I want to know what's up here. Oh, fine. Can't get the mech suit up there. Do as much as I can with the mech suit.
I got him! Woo! Much better. Progress has been made. I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're pulling a zero, Dragoon. Now we can do some item hunting real quick. I say real quick. I'm actually going to be wrapping up soon. <laughs> we're, we're not drawing this one out. Yep. Need it here. Loud noises. You know, one thing I've always wondered, what is it with games and waterfall platforming? And this was officially the worst part of The Lion King. Freaking Hakuna Matata stage with the waterfall platforming. It was awful. DP, what did you post? <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, I can approve of that. Uh, the one where you um burn down the tree with the snakes. Basically, everything that can be burned in this part of the stage has something behind it. You don't remember the waterfall section in the Hakuna Matata stage? I could have sworn that could be burned, but I guess not. I mean, I absolutely hated that stage. Best way to deal with bees? Burn them out. Super Nintendo version. And the boss for that freaking section sucked. Okay, heart tank get. Shortcut get. That takes care of that. Maybe the Genesis version was different. But yeah, the Super Nintendo version had a freaking waterfall platforming section and it sucked and I hate it. Ah. So we got the one there. 
We got the one there. Let's say the other E tank shows up here, though. So let's grab that real quick, because. Crap. I think I can get caught by exactly one of those things. Okay. Extra life. Then heart tank, then E tank. I gotta S this one as well. Now I gotta S the last one. Because we already got the heart tank. Stop it! No, 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 come on! Okay. Nope, that's not gonna be an S. Definitely not an S. Hey. No point in saving that. Okay. That definitely was an S. I'm okay with that. And you know, gathering up extra lives, not a bad thing. Okay, this one we don't care if we S. Obligatory vroom. Yeah, yeah. One of these days I'll get some way to cool this room off without the need of the window being open. I think I still got it though. Yes! Oh my goodness. E tank, thank you. That's no worries, DP. Okay, now we're going to get the E-Tank here. Seriously, I, I don't care how much damage I take in this part. Okay, that much damage is a little different, though.
because I forgot where the hole that I wanted to not jump was, which I think it's next, actually. Eh, that doesn't matter. So I already got that heart tank. Come on. I hate this part. I really do. <laughs> hey, Stash, how you doing? Uh. <laughs> mm. I hate that part. Seriously, if we can just get through this and get to the loading screen, then I can worry about getting the E tank. Once I get the E tank, this one's starting to go long, isn't it? What the crap did I just do? Don't mind me, I'm just freaking crazy. Hello. Okay, we made it. Okay, so now I can restart this part of the stage as many times as necessary until we get the E-Tank. Which is... Not there. Once the crate starts showing up. Plus Jet Stingray is not going to show up anymore. Got it. Yes. That actually wasn't that bad. Oh gosh, Monopoly Gamer. Has anyone seen this yet? It's a Mario themed Monopoly with like character based rules and abilities and I want it well, my wife's not even home from work yet so I'm not going to bed till she gets home let's just keep going and if nothing else we'll do the X run next week I mean, it looks really interesting. It looks like something my kids would enjoy, too. And that's that's a very strong selling point for me. And that would be my wife. Just a moment, gentlemen. Mute.
Yes, that was a smooth McGroove ringtone. Specifically, Spark Mandrel stage. It's kind of an awesome thing. But, uh, yeah, she was just telling me how she's on the way home and how one of her friends from work watched the stream with her. It's kind of neat. Almost popular, guys. This is scary. <laughs> I want to say there's something up there, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> Booyah! Which way am I going? Oh, here we are. Okay, now what is... Okay. Yeah, it doesn't help me much when he's not really close. That worked. Gotcha. I keep finding things I want to spend money on, but I can't right now. Oh, she's just on her way home. Then Kuha. Enhanced Sea Saber. You can cut enemy energy shots with your saber. Woo! Yeah, and I'm trying to remember where it's at. Okay. We got that one. We got that one. We got that one. Yeah, we got that. Yeah. We got that one. Is it the bio laboratory one? My, my saber's all purple now. See, I don't know if it's... No, I got this one, because it was the, the drill dive thing. So where didn't I get one yet? That would make it... That would make it Frost Morris's stage. Yeah, because that one was in the... in the tree trunk. That one was in cyberspace getting an S rank. That one was in that thing that the... Spaceship exploded. That one was on the ledge above the suit of armor. That was under the platform on the first speed bike. That was in the drilled out section. 
And that was on the train. So yeah, it has to be Frost Walrus. Ready. I'm just not sure where it is. Found it. Alright. We're good now. And all things considered... No, I'm going to press on until Kenna gets home. Things everywhere, good God. <sighs> now I got a bit quiet, but I'm starting to get on the tired side. <laughs> so apologies for the quietness. It's just a pallet swap in this one. I don't want to fight. Step back. Step back, son. Come on. Boom. And Colonel's dead. Oops. Don't do this to me, Iris. In all seriousness, though, Sigma in this one, I hate him with an ever loving passion. Much rather take the safe road of a good collision box from a distance. Oh, this is when I have to fight Iris. 
Man. Also, what the crap is Iris doing with some evil energy from Mega Man 8? That suddenly transforms into a crystal Pokeball? This one sucks. Okay. Mm, hold on, let me read this. Considering the title of the stream, I really, really want to finish this fight. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Oh. Ridiculously close to the end. So you're just gonna finish it? I'm gonna try to, yeah. Alright. Oh, That's Daddy's chair, you don't claw that. Which cat was in my chair? Mally, she was clawing at the edge of it. Mally, I'm again. Mama's baby eating. She squeaked at me. Such a good kitty. She squeaked at me when I got home. Almost kind of got it. There we go. That is so much better. I wasn't planning on going along with this one, but... The infamous cutscene. That's called mass genocide, Iris. We frown on that. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? Yep. That happened. Damn. 
What do you have more time for? should do. Should I go through the door or down the hole? And I'm gonna go through the door. I'm starting to think I should have gone down the hole. I saw the tweet about the Bomberman update. What did uh, what did Mario Kart update? I can see there's a tweet about it. Doesn't appear to be. Dude, that was a really nice chair. fight sucks just as much as any other in this game. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Honestly, I think I'm going to hit it at the next save screen. Fart. with that. I can do that. Yeah, let's just keep doing this. Ow. I missed. Just keep doing this. You don't need to do the fisting thing. I don't need to get fisted. But it that was different. All right, DP, take care. Then there's that. If he can keep doing the, the, the back and forth thing, I will be okay. Somehow. 
this is our last try, and then if I lose, we'll get a save. If I win, we should get a save. I have no choice. No, don't do the fisting thing. Could have been worse. No, don't. Seriously? I'm starting to think I should just dodge this. Colonel. Or not Colonel. General. Eight. Are you kidding me right now? Anything health wise. Too close. Alright, we're gonna save and we'll pick this up next Wednesday. Um, when we finish the zero run, we'll go into an X run, which should hopefully be a little bit on the easier side. I'm not good in close combat when it comes to these games. But, um. Yeah, that's. I'm just going to go back to the launcher for now. So, thank you guys for being here. Huge shout-outs to both Steve and Metalhead for subbing. Um, if you're interested, there is a sub button now. I have submitted some emotes to Twitch for approval. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you got Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month. So, that's something to consider. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be ukulele. Friday is going to be Zelda DLC. Saturday is going to be Mario Kart, hopefully. If not, I may look into the Bomberman DLC. Um, Monday and Tuesday will be Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which comes out Friday. My wife will be streaming that periodically through the weekend. And then next Wednesday we'll come back to this and we'll try and beat General and Sigma and all the above. So, And then we'll continue on the next run. So... Thank you for being here, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thank you for playing, and I'll see you next game. Bye-bye!